hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to consume web API in MVC to bind data into radio button and checkbox control and here we got the final output we have consumed the web API to bind data into radio button and checkbox list and this is a web API we have binded this into this HTML elements radio button And checkbox control that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial I'm creating a new MVC web API application go to file new project and from the web templates I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1 the application name is web api consume radio button and checkbox click ok and from the templates i'm selecting web api ok and the project is created successfully let's close this default window open solution explorer now in this project first I am adding adword.net entity data model right click the project name add adword.net entity data model the model name is courses model click ok and from the model contents I am selecting the first option next let's create a new SQL connection I'm adding my SQL server name. After adding SQL server name, now I'm selecting the database name. A new GB is my user database. I'm selecting that one. Test connection. It succeeded. Okay. Okay. Now here we got our connection string, and the connection string name is a new DB entities. And I'm saving this connection string in the web.config file. Click next. Let's select the table. I'm expanding the tables folder as well as DPO. The table is a courses. I'm selecting that one. Click finish. And here the entity model is added to our project. After adding entity model, let's open Solution Explorer, minimize the references folder. The next step, we'll add a class in this models folder. Right click the models folder, add class. And I'm giving the class name course class add. And here we got the course class. Now in this class I'm just defining the public properties public end we have two columns in our table course ID and course name let's add two properties course ID get and set public string course name get set after adding the properties in this class, next open Solution Explorer. We'll add the API controller in this controllers folder. Right click the controllers, add, go to controller, and select Web API 2 controller empty, add. The controller name is course add. And here we got our controller API controller course first let's add the namespace using I'm adding the project name web API dot the models after adding the namespace models next in the API controller I'm adding public I HTTP action result get 
courses is a method now in this courses method I'm adding my connection entity which is a new DB entities and is equals to new DB entities new DB entities after adding the connection string now I'm adding I list in this I list I'm adding the class name course classes let's create an object course object is equals to nd dot the courses dot include method the include method takes a parameter string path here the path I'm adding the uh, entity model name uh, which is a C-O-U-R-S the table name C-O-U-R-S dot select x colon I'm adding lambda expression new course class now let's add the properties course ID is equals to x dot course ID comma course name is equals to x dot course name dot to list to list I'm adding course name course class the class name I'm adding return return ok I'm adding this object name semicolon that's it we have added the functionality to fetch the records in this API controller now let's check the output of this web API controller Google Chrome and here we got the output of the project which is a default output now we require the web API URL so after the host I'm adding API forward slash the API name is a course I'm adding API controller name which is a course enter and here we got the results of this course web API which is in the XML format and this is the data from the database so now let's consume this web API into MVC stop debugging open solution explorer now in the same controllers folder I am adding MVC controller right click the controllers add selecting the controllers now this time I am selecting MVC for a controller empty add the controller name is consume web API is my MVC controller name click add and here we got the controller consume web API now in this controller I am adding pass using web API the project name dot models after that using system dot net dot uh, HTTP I am using the HTTP client class to consume the web API so we require the HTTP namespace so now in the action result index I am adding I enumerable in this I enumerable out T type of objects I am adding the class name course class let's create an object course object is equals to null HTTP client it is equals to new HTTP client. It's a dot 
base address is equals to new URI. The URI takes a string. We're in double quotes. The URI string here I'm adding our web API URL. Let's copy that one. Paste here. What I'm doing, I'm deleting this course, the API controller name. After we got the API, now read the API variable read data is equals to etc. get async method. The get async method takes a string request URI. Let's add that one between double quotes. I am adding the course, the controller name, API controller name, semicolon. Read data dot wait method. After read the data, I want to display the results variable result data is equals to read data dot result property. If result data dot is success status code, if the web URI is succeeded. Let's consume the data. Variable consume data is an object is equals to result data dot content dot read as a sync I list. In this I list the T type I'm adding the class name, the class name which is course classes, course class. Consume data dot wait. Let's display this data and course object is equals to consume data dot result. And the return view, the course object. That's it. We have consumer the web API controller in this MVC controller. Now to view the data we require the index page. So before adding the index view page, first we must build the application. Build build solution. And here we got a message build succeeded. Let's close this output message box. Highlight the index, right click the mouse, go to add view. The view name I'm selecting index, the template I'm selecting empty template, the model class I'm adding course class and I don't require this data context class, just delete that one. Click add and here we got our index view page. Now in this index view I'm adding the center tag. I'm Closing the center tag after the header tag. Let's change the header. Consume web API to bind data into radio button and checkbox. MVC web API tutorials. After adding the headers, next I'm adding the horizontal line. Next we require in a model, I'm adding I enumerable so after adding the I enumerable, next in the horizontal line. I'm using for each loop at for each variable item in model. Now in this for each loop, I'm binding the data into a radio button control. So open toolbox. In the HTML folder, there is a radio button element. Just add that one. I'm adding the name property. Name is equals to. Rd button. 
when we add the property name to the radio button control so we can able to select only one radio button control so after that let's bind the data at item this variable dot course name that's it we have binded the data into this radio button control next I'm adding break to bind the checkbox list I'm adding for each loop so instead of radio button I'm adding input checkbox element just I'm adding this model item dot course name that's it we have done the complete coding part to consume web API into this radio button and checkbox elements in MVC now before run this application the most important we have to change the controller name in our application open solution explorer app underscore start expand that one route config.cs open that one and notice here the controller is home which is a default one let's delete that one our controller name is consume web api i'm adding mvc controller name consume web api and the action result which is an index this page only that's it now it's time to check the results google chrome and here we got the final output we have consumed the web api to bind data into radio button and checkbox list and this is a web api we have binded this into this html elements radio button and checkbox control that's it